Today we're going to discuss AC solenoid valves and what causes the valve occasionally to start making noise. It's common for any AC valve to have a, a slight hum to the valve. However, when the slight hum changes to a noise, then you have a problem with your valve. The valve is not bad. The valve does not need to be replaced. The valve is not broken. You just need to do a little bit of maintenance. First thing we need to do is depressurize your valve. Turn the, the source of your pressure off and drain the valve. Be sure that, that you drain the valve into a proper receptacle. If it's a liquid, if it's an oil, if it's gas, just beware. After that, you want to disconnect power to the valve just for safety reasons. Today we're looking at an ASCO two-way valve. First thing we want to do is remove the coil. We'll pop the red hat off, remove the nameplate, pull the solenoid off. Underneath the solenoid will be a, a spring ring. Where your problem is coming is pressure comes in the inlet and out the outlet. However, all the pressure doesn't flow straight through the valve. A certain amount of the fluid will go up into the solenoid base and back down on its way out. That's where the problem comes in is you'll get trash trapped on the top of the solenoid base. When your core tries to pick up, it can't make contact and that will give you a chatter. To fix that, remove the solenoid base. Look inside the base. Here we can see we have a little trash inside the solenoid base. Sometimes you take the base off, the trash is going to fall out as soon as you take it off and you'll never see it. So in order to remove this, we'll see if we can just tap it out. It looks, appears that we have a little bit of Teflon tape that had come off of the pipe threads. Everything is clean. There again, the media goes through this, so if you need to wash it, you can go ahead and wash it out mineral spirits or just water and clean it out very very well. After you clean it we'll put it back together, screw it back down, we'll tighten the solenoid base put it back into service or if you never removed it before you you put the coil on it Go ahead and repressurize the vessel. Repressurize pressurize the valve. Check, be sure you don't have any leakage. If you do, you need to tighten it down just a little bit more. Replace your spring washer. Replace your solenoid. When you go to replace your nameplate, one of the things you might want to do, since that has your catalog number and everything on it, that's valuable information. You don't want to lose that. Rather than mount it like the factory does, up. Go ahead and flip the nameplate upside down. That way, if you ever need to replace it, you can take it off and the nameplate's going to look like brand new. Push down. Snap the coil back on. The nameplate on this valve is what actually holds the coil down. The ASCO red hat can go back on top. Everything has been redone. And our noise is gone. Valve is fixed. 
I hope that will help everybody and keep you from throwing perfectly good valves away and save you some money and repairs. Thank you.